I'm here today with Pete Schumach. Welcome, Pete. Thanks, Fiona. So, how did you get started in cutting? I guess it um, was just a bit of a natural progression from, I started out in the youth ranks showing, you know, showmanship, western pleasures and what have you, and then saw the exciting sport of cutting and thought, that's what I want to do. Yeah. And for you, like your first great, great success story, I suppose, was Specialty Spin. What was her story? Um, well, Special, yeah, it was a, a bit of a story. Um, good friend of mine, Todd Graham, had a, had a mare that she had some foot problems um, at the time I was kind of a, a bit of a learned farrier and we ended up helping that mare, you know, she got better. They then lent, lent that mare to me to breed to Doc Spinifex. I didn't have a, a mare that I thought was, was good enough to, to breed to Spinifex at the time. That was the mare that we ended up with and, and we got special and yeah, she went on to win the futurity. It was, was really, really, um, really, really good outcome. Yeah. And um, obviously you've had lots of great horses, but at the moment you've got Fair Lady Flash. What made you pick her to bring her to Australia? Um, Fair Lady Flash, she was, she's by a horse called Purdy Boy Flash, who was owned by Jack Wagner, who owned um, Highbrow Cat. And he was just a, a very special horse. Her Fair Lady Flash's mother was a mare that Aaron Wheatley had shown called Risto's Fair Lady. Uh, you know, Aaron had won about 110,000 on that mare in America, and I, it was when I found her, I was like searching for Purdy Boy Flash on on um, internet sites, and I found this filly, and yeah, we drove kind of eight hours. It was when we were at Fort Worth one time, and we drove eight hours up into Oklahoma, Eddie Flynn and I, and and loaded her on the trailer and brought her home, and yeah, she's been been really really good show mare for me. In America and then she's come home to Australia um, and yes she's she's been very very successful here and and now she's she's a little bit of a a foal factory at the moment she's been we've been embryo transferring the mare for a few years now and there will be a very very special filly to show at the futurity this year yeah so um, hopefully that will be the beginning of a very very good um yeah Damn line. Damn line, yep. yep. Okay, so um, that's her future from here on. You'll just, you know, really look at your stallions and pick and choose what you breed her to? Yeah, for sure. Um, she's actually, we're trotting her back up again now. We'll get her back out and get her shown, like keep showing her. But, but yeah, mainly, you know, she's hopefully will become a very influential broodmare for Australia. It's the, um, I've, I've always been real passionate about, about the mares. Um, there's been some some super super mares in this country. One more spin, Bonalina, Dreams of Oak. Like that's you've got to you've got to look at the mares. You know, yeah. it's there's a lot of there's a lot of very very nice stallions out there, but you've got to look at the the bottom side. You've got to look at the mares. Yeah. Mm. So talking briefly about the top side obviously you've been a very successful stallion owner and importer you had racketeer cat and then now you've got times up yeah so the, the stallion industry at the moment is flooded arguably i suppose with the options of imported semen and and great stallions that we have here in australia mm. i mean you, your success with times up what do you put that down to well fiona probably the mare line like when if we go back a little bit to racketeer um, when we purchased him, we were somewhat on a little bit of a budget at, at trying to acquire a stallion. Um, but his dam had there was only, his dam was by um, Doc's Hickory and was out of a little peppy mare. And the like the grand dam Miss Coyote Sand she had only had three foals. One was Smart Aristocrat, who was a very very successful. Um, smart little Lena's son as a sire. Yep. The other one was smart Misty Dawn. She was a successful um, dam herself, produced cat's red feather. And Mrs. Rachette, who was racketeer cat's mother, um, she had been shown, but only very limited. So it was just an opportunity where we could we could purchase a highbrow cat son that was out of a very well, you know, pedigreed dam. Yep. And then, so come back to Time's Up, and when we went back to, to find him and, and we ended up finding him, um, I, I was in a position where I could look at a lot, you know, a, a more performed kind of mare, yep. um, so to speak. And 
Boone Sankiti, she was NCHA Horse of the Year. She was twice winner of the NCHA Classic yep. in the US. Um, the first folder show, Rock and W had won the Futurity. So the strength in that bottom, like on that dam, it, it was there. Yep. So um, yeah, the chance to, to purchase him and bring him home home here and, and stand him and he, I think he has, well, he definitely has become a very successful sire and I think the, the strongest attribute that he has is the, is the bottom line. Yeah. Excellent. And you've, you've had a really good season with him this year. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. So we've bred, he breeds a lot, he breeds a lot of everything. Like we've, we've bred, you know, a lot of cutting mares, we've bred a lot of camp draft mares and we also have the, um, the rodeo industry, the bowel racing girls and the, and the, the ropers, they're breeding to him as well. So, but it's, yeah, very, very pleased with the way it's turning out. Well, that's excellent. And talking about mare power matters, obviously you've talked about the importance of the, of the dam line, but at the moment, putting you on the spot, what, what are some of the dominant mares that you feel in the cutting industry that we have? Oh, uh, in this country, um, you know, you've definitely got, you know, one more spin, arguably, like just arguably the, the best producing mare that we've had. Yeah. And then you have the, um, the Turpentine Acres, yep. you know, a, a super producing mare. Um, and then go back to yesteryears, like I mentioned earlier, Bonalina that produced, you know, 10, 11, 12 spin effects babies that yep. all won. Um, yep. Docs Bon Jovi. Um, Oh, spin and pine, like triple spin. Yeah. You know that it's if you if you get that good mare, and then she's producing, and then those babies will produce as well. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. No doubt you'll have a successful future with Fair, Fair Lady Flash's babies, and um, we'll catch up with you again soon. Very good. Thank, thank you. Thank you.